Hi guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. Welcome to Stop Hitting Behind the Ball series. Last time we talked about fixing the casting, so we worked on the leg, really focused on the uh, leg more than anything else. But really to completely master that move, we have to go into the details of how the body works. So that's what I'm going to help you do today. I'll give you an Amy Fi drill, making simple, fun and effective, and fix the body movement and the leg all at the same time. Amy Fine means making golf simple, fun, and effective. Now, back to the golf lesson. So I'll be focusing on how your hips should be moving. If you look at the professionals and you draw a wall behind their hips, they, the hips start on the wall and in the backswing, the right hip stays on the wall on the way down, the hips stay beautifully on the wall and then to post impact, the left hip is still on the wall and then as you follow through, the hips come off completely. That's ideal and that's what we want because keeping the hips back will not only give us a great stability and balance, but it's going to keep our spine angle nice and low and nice and consistent throughout the whole swing. And that's going to give us a really solid, consistent impact every single time. On the other hand, amateurs tend to use the hips the incorrect way. Let me show you how that is. The most common fault is to start with the hips on the wall and Sometimes the hips come off right away in the backswing, so the chest moves away from the golf ball. Now you're too far, you're afraid of hitting um, it thin, so a lot of golfers tend to cast, and then he kind of downward at the golf ball, end up with a fat shot. Or sometimes you keep low, nice and beautiful in the backswing, and then on the way down, you try to lead the downswing with the hips, but the incorrect way, the early extension way where you're thrusting your hips forward to rotate, which we don't want. When you do that, your spine angle stands up again, chest moves away from the golf ball, and now you are afraid to hit it thin again, and you cast down and hit it fat. So when you early extend, not only are you risking to cast and lose your lag, but you're also not shifting your weight enough. So you're not utilizing your body mass for power and also not shifting can cause you to hit it fat once again. So today I have to make sure to keep you nice and low with your body throughout the whole swing. When I say that, a lot of people are very surprised because they're like, well, I hit it fat and you want me to stay lower. That doesn't make any sense. But you have to stay low. That's going to help you with the lag because if you go up, you're going to lose the lag, right? So you're staying low and you're lagging and you have to shift really well, clear the body out of the way so you can go down below into it so you can avoid hitting the ground behind the ball. So I have to do all three, help you to stay low, shift weight, and lag. And we know all these three things, especially if we're working on them together is impossible. But even if you're working on the lag, the shift and staying low separately, those are very tough things to do. But I'm going to aim five for you, meaning making simple, fun and effective. And I'll give you one simple drill to fix all three at once. Ta-da! <laughs> I've got a bigger iron so I can show you exactly what's going on. We're not actually going to hit golf balls with this drill. I'm just going to show you uh, how to do this. You can even do this indoors because um, you won't be swinging the club. Okay, so grip normal with your left hand and you're gonna pick it up and grip far apart with your right hand. So it kind of feels like a hockey grip almost, right? But this is almost to the bottom of the shaft and a wider than shoulder width apart. And you're going to do three things. So you're gonna go into the backswing, you're holding that lag right there, the L, and then as you are coming down, you're gonna focus on getting that right shoulder getting really low instead of up this way, okay? so. Hold the leg, right shoulder pushes. When the right shoulder pushes correctly, now you can tell that there is not much pressure in the right foot, so I have shifted really well. So when the right shoulder goes low, then means you're shifting from side angle. You can see that the left hip is touching the wall, which is great, that means you're staying nice and low. So right shoulder goes low, 
pushing that weight shift into the left hip is against the wall that's what we want lag right shoulder push staying low and shift it almost feels like your right shoulder is pushing diagonally into the left hip like this boom boom right so the right shoulder is pushing into the left hip this way that's almost what it feels like boom this way once you get used to this kind of low shifting and lag let's go ahead and hit the golf ball incorporating all these all right so wow that feels different now <laughs> so we're going to hold the lag right shoulder pushes into the left and right shoulder is going really low you already see the shift and the lag right so right shoulder push Wow, that was really solid. That was really square and I compressed it really beautifully. There is like not one blade I touched before the ball. So that was really good. Um, so I really focused on the lag. Right shoulder is pushing to the left hip. So the right shoulder was getting low and it was shifting my weight forward and also my hip was against the wall so all three really difficult things were were fixed just like that i want you to give this drill a go you can do this a lot at home when you're watching golf and then eventually it'll come out in your actual swing so give it a go let me know how it goes today i showed you how to keep low throughout the swing and weight shift and lag really well in the next lesson i'm just going to show you one little drill to really help you complete your weight shift into the left foot so please look forward to that you guys probably already know but for those of you who are fairly new to the channel subscribe like and comment down below love to hear from you guys thanks for golfing with me and see you in the next one Mwah.